Hi, I'm Amy Jackson, Managing Editor of SmallGroups.com. Today, I want to take a few moments to talk about meaningful group prayer. You know, as group leaders, we know that group prayer is really an important part of our meetings, but a lot of times we're not exactly sure how to do that. And so what often happens is we leave just a few minutes at the end for prayer. We spend most of that time taking prayer requests, and then we end with some type of generic like, God, you know our hearts, and we lift up our hearts to you in our prayer requests. And although I believe that God hears those and he still loves those prayers, I think we do our group a disservice when we, that's all we have for our group prayer time. So I wanted to give you a few ideas today just to make your group prayer time more meaningful. You know, one thing that really gets us off the rails is we, we are so unfocused in our prayer requests and they're all over the map. And so one way that we can kind of rein in that prayer request time is to keep them very focused. So one thing I like to do is say, you know, what can we pray for for this week for you? So in other words, if we've just had a discussion on relationships and forgiveness, I might say, what's one relationship in your life that we can pray for tonight? Or what's one thing that you need from God right now as a result of our conversation? That just keeps it very focused on what's been talked about and on the people in the group rather than, you know, my sister-in-law's co-worker's mother. So that's one way to just keep things very reined in and focused, and it really leads to important prayer requests and important prayer time. Uh, But even with the best focused prayer requests, a larger group can still take a long time. Even if everyone just shares two minutes and you have 10 people, right there we've had 20 minutes of prayer requests. So one thing I really love to do in a larger group is to split up into triads. This just allows everyone to really share their prayer requests and pray for one another and feel really heard and cared for. This is just a wonderful tactic to use in your group, and you can split up in a number of ways. It could be, you know, by gender. It could be, um, you know, this half the room, that half the room, however you want to split up. Um, It just allows for some more intimate sharing and some more intimate caring and prayer time. You know, sometimes we just get stuck in a rut and we aren't doing anything wrong with prayer. It's just that it's not everything that we hoped it would be. And so maybe we just need to mix some things up. First of all, maybe you just mix up the time of meeting that you pray. Maybe you start with prayer one night. Maybe you spend the middle of your prayer time or your meeting time in prayer. Uh, Perhaps you just set aside a whole evening that's just devoted to prayer. Just mix things up, keep your group members guessing, and that can really go a long way in kind of enlivening your prayer time. Another thing that I love to do is just pray scripture passages for my group members, and we can pray those for ourselves, we can pray those for other people in the group, we can pray them for people in our lives. Uh, And so, for instance, you might pray a psalm together, you might pray uh, Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 through 14. Another favorite of mine is Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 through 21. Another great scripture prayer is the Lord's Prayer, and you can use that as a template for your prayers as a group. Uh, You know, the other thing I like to say is sometimes we don't know how to pray for the people in our group. You know, they bring up a request that just seems so, you know, difficult and such a tough life life circumstance, and we just don't even know what to pray. And I would just encourage you to just say, God, we don't know what to pray. We don't know how to pray for the situation, but we know you're powerful, we know you're good, and we want your will to be done. I think sometimes we just go to kind of generic prayers or we start saying advice type prayers where we're giving people advice or praying for things that we think they might need. And I just want to just encourage you to pray authentically and pray that God will meet their needs and that his will will be done even when we don't know what that looks like and that's an absolutely okay place to be uh three things I love to pray for people when I don't know what to pray pray that God's will would be clear pray for wisdom so they know how to act when to act and I also pray for courage for the person because sometimes when God asks us to do something It takes a lot of courage to wait, to do something, to whatever he's asking us to do. So those are great things you can pray when you're not exactly sure what to pray. Um, Just remember, most of all, that in prayer we're modeling a relationship, a conversation with God. And so we want to keep things simple and make make it something that people can be invited into and join in. So rather than, you know, make it complicated, just keep prayer simple, keep it authentic, keep it heartfelt, and you'll have a wonderful, meaningful prayer time.